Well, guys, last week we found out another black Democrat left the Democratic Party. Now, we talked about this before in several other videos over the past few years. There have been more black politicians that have left the Democrat Party because the Democrats, man, they have always been the party of white supremacy. Now, when you hear Joe Biden talking about a white supremacy is the most dangerous threat to this country, I don't believe that. But throughout his history, though, it has been the Democrat Party that has been the party of white supremacy. Remember, the Democrats wanted to keep slavery in place. It was the Democrat Party and the Republicans. They were against it. The Jim, Jim Crow laws, that was Democrat policies. Democrats voted against the 1964 Civil Rights Bill. This is the history, man. But uh, Democrats, they have tried to spin the narrative for so long, man, to keep black people on that plantation, a voting Democrat, that they paint Republicans as the party of racism and white supremacy. I don't know who the PR person is for the Democrats, but I got to tell, tell them this. They have done one hell of a job of convincing people that Republicans are the party of racism with no evidence whatsoever. None. Now, the Democratic presidents. Or should I say the presidents in this country that have actually owned slaves? Guess what? They're all Democrats. When there was a Democratic Party, when there was a Republican Party, they were all Democrats. And some people may bring up uh, Ulysses S. Grant. Technically, yes, he owned a slave. But however, it was the slave of his wife's father. They got married, I believe her father died and she couldn't actually inherit those slaves, I believe, or the slave. And Ulysses S. Grant. He was opposed to slavery and he freed him. So technically, no, he didn't really own slaves. Well. Flash forward now. Let's talk about Misha Maynard. Now, Misha Maynard is the. Um, the former Democrat from Georgia. That left the Democratic Party and became a Republican. Because. The Democrats didn't like the way that she voted. You know, she wanted a school choice. She didn't want to defund the police. That is the priorities of the Democrats. That's what they want. She doesn't want that. She wants parents to actually put their kids in schools of their choice. But the Democrats didn't like that. So she said goodbye. And she also said that Democrats have been taking advantage of black people. For decades. She's absolutely right, guys. Now, the Democrat Party is also the party of the Klan, too, by the way. The Klan started out in Tennessee by all Democrats. All Democrats, guys. But the Democrats have always tried to spin that the Republicans support the Klan. Not the case. Not the case. The Republican Party has never been a party of the Klan it has always been the Democrats. And if you need another example, guys, it's pretty much on full display, guys. Who the party of white supremacy is because um, Misha Maynard came out and dropped some some receipts on Democrats responding to her about her joining the Republican Party, guys. So. Let's go over here. And I'm going to clean up some of these um, uh, tweets here because she received emails here. Look here. She says, dear Florida Democrat, sorry you feel this way about black Americans and Haitians. Democrats have a lone unfavorable relationship with Haitians. Uh, your sentiment isn't surprising. I pray you find support at the University of Central Florida for your hate and anger. And she received an email here. And it says, um, what are your what, what concerns you? What are your priorities? This person says, you stupid chocolate job of the hut looking 
jigaboo cunt. You don't belong in the government. You belong in the fields picking cotton or in my kitchen cooking and cleaning my floor. Go back to Haiti. Yeah, this is disgusting here, guys. Disgusting. Let's go to another one here. Misha Maynard says, dear Democrat, I'm sorry you feel this way. Be blessed and don't give yourself a heart attack from your hate. I've only taken breath since my switch from the Democrat Party. You can watch my legislative actions in January. This one here says, what concerns you? What are your priorities? Um, I was in the shower earlier. Y'all spear chunkers referring to black people need showers. You stink. LOL. That's why segregation is ordained in the Bible. Don't tell me that you're sorry that I feel this way. This isn't what I feel. This is what I know. Wow. Now the next one here. How would you like to help? And this person says all that in words are good for is for. For. I don't even know if I can even say that there. I, I'm not even sure. It's a, I, they may, may have meant to say cooking. I don't know. But it says not representing us in the legislature. You dumb silverback mammy. Whoa. She's not done yet either. Here we go again. All this is all these are put on Twitter like in the last like four or five hours. Another one here. Dear Democrat, I'm sorry you feel this way. I pray everyone has a great Sunday. It's another day the Lord has made. Look at this here. What are what concerns you? What are your priorities? Says F you coon, you monkey bitch. You want to be a party trader and go under Brian Kemp's whip? Because he offered you more yams and collards. You are despicable. And. Poplar might. Serve you well. How would you like to help? By taking away your fried chicken. You fat heifer. My goodness. Democrats dropping a whole lot of. N words here too by the way. Look at this next one. She just says. "Um, Dear Democrat. I'm sorry you feel this way. And the Democrat says this. You N word bitch. You need to get back on the plantation before Massa Stacy whips, whips your ass back in the shape. I don't think Stacey Abrams is whipping anybody back in the shape. Look at her. But anyway, um, you need to stop eating your fried chicken and watermelon with Vernon Jones and get back. Uh, Miss Nat Turner. And of course, you know, Democrats don't like Vernon Jones because um, Vernon Jones left the Democrat Party as well. Black man and a huge Trump supporter. Man. Here's another one here. Another one here is telling her to kill herself. Right here. This be killing herself. How would you like to help convincing conservatives and their dipshit children to commit suicide? Is the greatest service one can offer to humanity. I mean, my goodness. Here is one more. I believe this may actually be the last one. No, there's still more here. My goodness. She says, sorry you feel this way. And thank you for the hundreds uh, sending well wishes. This person says, you dumbass, you dumbass and your mama mother effing traitor. I'll be sure to take a good chunk of my retirement savings, which is substantial, and will donate it to whoever it is that will be running against you. You self-hating black niggerous bitch. My God. This one here. She replies again. Sorry you feel this way. I would like to help. Your retarded black ass by telling you this is what the person says. That saying. You would support any candidate pit by the GOP during the primary is retarded. Not only is. 
I think that meant, is it retarded? You live up uh, to the word N word by just following blindly. Remember, you were a Democrat and, quote, felt abandoned to become Republican. And now you're going to follow blindly like you did with your party. You're the stain of society that needs to be flushed. I wish you the absolute worst in your political history. You Uncle Tom bitch. Man. The clan hoods on full display, guys. On full display right there. Disgusting emails that were sent to Misha Maynard. Black people better wake up, man. This is the Democrat Party right here. They haven't changed. They haven't changed at all. Look at what, what they're doing right now. They're still the party of racism. They still are. It is absolutely disgusting, guys. Just the other day, a Republican, I believe this was actually in the House, he referred to um, minorities as um, colored people. And guess what happened? This Democrat got outraged. But they have no problem being called people of color. And by the way, colored is actually in the name of the NAACP. It stands for the National Association for Advancement of Colored People. And they tried to paint him as a racist. This utterly ridiculous, guys. This is disgusting emails also. That were sent to Misha Maynard. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time.